Hi, Rachel Ramsey here at DevCon 5 in New York City. I'm here with Matt Moore, the co-founder of CrowdMob. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. So tell me a little bit about CrowdMob and what you offer. Absolutely. So CrowdMob is a growth hacking platform that lets mobile application developers and HTML5 application developers acquire users on RTB, which is real-time bidding um, at exchanges. And what we make is a way to a platform that really lets the the application developer find the perfect users for their application. We see something like uh, 30 billion impressions or ad requests every month. And so only a portion of those, less than 1%, even less than 0.1% of those are actually going to be valuable to that application developer. The example would be uh, what's valuable to like Hotel Tonight and Hotwire.com is very different type of user than who is valuable to Supercell, Clash of Clans, and other game makers. And so our platform really lets the application developers hone in on the users that are really, really important to them. Got it. And you're speaking on a session on this tomorrow um, at DevCon 5. So tell me a little bit about what we can expect to hear. Absolutely. So my goal is to really teach people... Uh, especially application developers, what they should be expecting out of the platforms that they use to acquire users. Because there's really a lot more available to most people uh, than what they think in terms of hyper-targeting and getting those perfect users. So I'm going to give a little bit of an overview of what real-time bidding uh, ecosystem looks like, what the levers are that they should be able to target against, um, and they can use that to make smarter decisions on what ad platforms they choose to use and acquire users from. Okay, and what are some unique differentiators from about your platform? Yeah, well, we take sort of three primary factors. Um, the first is a historical analysis of what types of interests that device ID has. So given an, a device ID that we get in that's making an ad request, we have an idea of some of the things that that device owner is interested in, whether that be travel or games or something else. Um, the second is actually geolocation. So we get a sense of where the user is at the given moment. So for brands like you know Snickers and Twix, they can target people who are near 7-Eleven or near Walmart or something like that. So there are really two major tracks of, of things uh, that we let our customers do that they can't do anywhere else. Got it. And what are some trends um, in HTML5 right now that helps with the, that impacts the development of your platform? Well, HTML5 is really, really interesting because it lets us show uh, more real-time information to user acquisition um, managers and product managers and so on. And I think what is also interesting about HTML5 is a lot of our customers are taking a hybrid approach. Mm -hmm. So not only do they have a native app that they need to acquire users for, but now they also have an HTML5 app that they need to acquire users for. And some there's a lot of overlap, but there's also a lot of differentiation. And so we can uh, target people to be acquired. Sorry, we can target users that our customers want to acquire both on the mobile web as well as in app. And those are two very different worlds. Okay, and um, how can someone learn more about CrowdMob? Well, they can go to crowdmob.com, that's C-R-O-W-D-M-O-B.com, or email me, of course, matt at crowdmob.com. Okay, excellent. Well, it was great to meet you. Thank you for joining us. Thanks so much. <laughs>